Hi, I'm Sharon Bill. Welcome to my Music Theory Tuition series where I work with you step by step through the ABRSM Discovering Music Theory grades. I'll work through every single exercise and explain everything you need to know. You can access information about the books I have available to help you on my website. Go to SharonBill.com. For advert-free and longer lessons, you can become a patron at patreon.com forward slash Sharon Bill. If you can give me a like, that would be super. And please do subscribe to my channel to stay updated. You can support this channel by buying me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com forward slash Sharon Bill. Moving on in the ABRSM Grade 3 Discovering Music Theory Workbook, we move on to page 16 and we get the opportunity to test our skills in recognising the compound time signatures and just to reacting to the various questions with that topic in mind. So exercise six is a relatively simple exercise of adding missing bar lines. So we've just got to make sure that we count the correct number of quaver beats and just pop a bar line in. Better grab my ruler. Here we go then. And so have a go of this by all means and then let's check through these together. So we should have nine quaver beats per bar. So one, two, three. The crotchet is two quaver beats. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Bar line, simple as that. But we can also see that nine, eight is triple time. It's three groups of dotted crotchet beats. We can see group one, group two, group three. And so you could almost just go for it one, two, three, bar line, one, two, three, bar line, one, two, three, bar line. However, let's be thorough and just make sure we've got the maths correct. So a crotchet gives us two quavers. There's our third. There's one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's our bar line. And then we know that a dotted crotchet is one, two, three quavers. One, two, three, one, two, three. Because a crotchet is two quavers and then the dot gives us half as much again. There's our third quaver. And we can see one, two, three dotted crotchet beats per bar. So if you've not done so already, do go ahead and try this next one. So I'm hoping you've had a go. Let's look at this together. We're looking for six quaver beats per bar. Remember this bottom number is like six eighth notes, which are quavers, because if I just refer to an old diagram, we've divided the whole into eighths. That's why the bottom number is eight. So we divided the whole into eighths and that's why quavers is represented by the lower number eight. And so we're looking for six quaver beats. So there's one. So there's one. Two semis equals a quaver. Two, three. And then one, two, three. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Bar line. Now here we've got a quaver. And then the dot is worth a semi quaver. And then we have a semi quaver. So the dot and the semi quaver. Give us another quaver. There's our third. And we can see it's grouped to show a dotted crotchet beat. So that's kind of done the work for us. We know that that's three quaver beats. And then one, two, three. So one, two, three, four, five, six. There's our bar line. One, two, three, four, five, six. Bar line. And notice this has to be tied. That can't be written as a crotchet because we need to group things to show each dotted crotchet beat. There. And then we've looked at this before. We know that's one, two, three. We know that the half of a quaver is a semi-quaver, plus the semi-quaver note gives us a quaver. And we grouped to show our dotted crotchet beats. One, two, three, four, five, six. There's our second dotted, dotted crotchet beat. There we go. So let's press on to exercise seven. 
Now we've got to show which is grouped correctly. And bear in mind, we've got to always show in the way that we beam, in the way that we group notes, we've got to show each dotted crotchet beat. So although there are six quaver beats, we need to show group one, group two. And so let's see what we've got here. We've got one, two, and then there's the third quaver beat. So that won't do because that's grouped in simple time. That's grouped in twos, not threes. So that's not correct. So that's wrong. So here we know there's a quaver. Two semis is a quaver. There's a quaver. So there's one, two, three. One, two, three. That's correct. And we can easily see two dotted crotchet beats there. There, it's impossible. That's actually written as if it was three, four time. And then here, it would be correct, you'd think, because you think, oh yes, they've carried on, but actually we've got one, two, three, four. That should not be joined. There's our second group of three. That should be on its own. So very important that the beaming reflects the time signature and we need to reflect compound time here. So 12 over 8 should be four groups of three. So we have one, two, three quaver beats there. So already we're wrong. One, two, three. So that's wrong. Now here we should have one, two, three. That should not be joined. That should be on its own, shouldn't it? Then one, two, three. That's grouped in four, four, actually, isn't it? One, two, three. Oh, don't know what that's grouped in. One, two, three. No. Um, so here, yeah, of course it wouldn't fit because there are too many beats because it's dotted. It's grouped as if it were simple time, but of course there's extra beats, isn't there? Silly me. So now then... One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. There we go. That's the one we're after. We can see dotty crotchet, dotty crotchet, dotty crotchet, dotty crotchet. And now we need to show three groups of three. Remember, nine, eight is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, three dotted crotchet beats which is three groups of three so we need to be able to see each group of three so we have quaver 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 one two three two semis gives us a quaver 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 one two three one two three there we go that's correct let's look at why these are wrong one two three again that's grouped in twos it's simple time isn't it here however the second part of the bar it looks, it's all gone squiffy, hasn't it? One, two, three. There's the beat two. There's beat three. That should be on its own, shouldn't it? We need to be able to see beat one, then beat two, then beat three. And it, 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 it's all so tricky to follow. It's impossible, isn't it? So there's one, two, three. That seems okay. But quaver, quaver, quaver. That shouldn't be joined. So that's that completed. And now we have a similar scenario in exercise eight. What we're showing, whether the rests are correct or incorrect. And again, every new beat requires a new rest. With the odd couple of exceptions where we can show a full bar's rest or we can show half a bar of 12 eight as a dotted minim. Every new beat outside of that requires a new rest and we're looking to show each dotted crotchet beat, each group of three. So we have one, two, three, one, two, three. And if you remember, it's okay to have crotchet rest, quaver note. It's not okay to have quaver note, crotchet rest. We have to have quaver note, rest, rest there. So that is acceptable. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One. So here, that's our point. You can't have that. We can't have it the other way around. It has to be 
because you wouldn't have, I, I always imagine it, you wouldn't have dot and then the note, would you? You have the note, then the dot. So that's just my way of remembering that. So that's incorrect. So one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, that's correct. Now what's going on here? One quaver beat, there's a quaver beat, there's a quaver beat. One, two, three, that's correct. So we have a quaver beat, and then we have a dot, which is worth a semi-quaver. Here's the quaver. So actually, to complete this second quaver beat in this group, we should have a semi-quaver as a rest. And actually, they got a bit carried away, and they've written a demi-semi. It should be just a semi, so that's wrong. So here we have one, two, three. We've got the equivalent of quaver, quaver, quaver. That's correct. Now here, you'd think that would be correct because it looks like it's a dotted men in rest, which is exactly the right number of beats. But remember, in a complete bar of silence, we just use the plain old semi-brief rest as a shortcut for just a whole bar's rest. So that's incorrect. So now we need to show four groups of three. One, two, three, four groups of three. One, two, three, four. That's correct. One, two, three. There's our first group of three. One, two, three. One, two, three. That's correct. You could actually even do that, but nevertheless, for this purpose, that rest is correct. Now here, so there's one, two, three, four groups. Now here, we've got one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, which looks kind of correct, but bear in mind the rule in quadruple time, whether it's compound or simple, we can just show half a bar's rest. There's no need for those two. We can have a dotted min in rest. So actually... That's incorrect. Oh, apologies, I should tick that. We've discussed that's correct. That grouping for the rest is correct. So there we are, give it a tick. I hope this is helpful to your studies. Please do like and subscribe to stay updated. If you'd like to support this channel, you can buy me a coffee. And for advert free lessons, you can become a patron. Do visit my website where you'll find many resources available to help you. Visit SharonBill.com. Thanks for watching. Bye.